Okay, Pops, I want to transition into an article I saw that I think you might get a kick out of. Um, this came up, and we're going to come back to the chat here in just a moment, but this came up from our friends over at IC Cars, and I thought it'd be interesting for us to talk about. So here we've got the fastest selling new and used cars back in the month of August. Okay. Once we have updated data from IC Cars, we'll share yeah, it for, for from September our dear friend as well. Julie. All right, so let's look through some of the numbers. I thought this was interesting, and yes, this is the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Yeah, it's really good looking. It's no, it's super neat. I, 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 I was like, whoa! <laughs> you were you were taken aback by it. I, I was. I so, could have gotten in the back if they would have slowed the hell down. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, <laughs> yeah. indeed. All right, so let's start from. I mean, everyone can see it, but let's start from bottom to top. Let's start in the top ten. Okay. So we've got the uh, average selling price and how many days it was to sell. I'll scroll down to the bottom though, so we can see what's the industry average right now. So the industry average is twenty six days. And this is for new vehicles that we're looking yes. at here. New vehicles in August. So in August, just let that sink in for a moment. New vehicles sitting on dealer lots were taking 26 days to sell. Yeah, less than a month. Less than a month. Now let's look at the top 10. The on Lexus average, RX yeah. 450 hybrid. Less than 10 days. Less than 10 days. Wow. Toyota 4Runner. To that gentleman who mentioned that they got yeah. one at MSRP, Yes. let that sink in. Yeah. Under 10 days. Dad, yes. if, you, if you were managing a dealership right now and you had a 10-day supply of inventory, yeah. I mean... I guess they're selling. I mean, if you're selling at MSRP, you found a unicorn dealership that's not adding additional dealer markup. That is an incredible if, deal. If it was a dealership that I was working at, that's what it would be. Yeah, exactly. And I and I would fight tooth and nail with the owner to make sure that that's that's where we left it. Yep, absolutely. All right. So then we've got in the eighth position the Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. Not the Tucson. Not the Tucson. You, you know, and I can't remember the last time I was in Tucson, but it is a. <laughs> A beautiful uh, city in southern Arizona. Uh, the Subaru Forester. Not surprised to see this on the list because no. last time we checked, Subaru has a seven-day seven national supply, yes, supply, supply of cars. Yeah. Toyota Sienna. Wow. We've seen pressure on minivans both in the used car yes. market and, of course, in the new car market as well. Again, under 10 days. RAV4 under 10 days. If you're looking for a RAV4 hybrid, those are also very hard yeah. to come by right now. The Crosstrek. Yes, that is that has turned into a really popular Subaru. Oh, the cross. It wasn't theory. always, you know, a consumer choice, but it really seems to be today. Absolutely. Yeah. Then we've got the Mercedes Benz GLS at under nine days. There's such limited supply of that. Yeah, vehicle, and the so. average price is only a tad over ninety seven thousand dollars. Your out the door price can be a lot well, more than that. Well, is it is is a tad over a hundred? Yeah. <laughs> the Chevrolet Corvette under yeah. nine days. If yes. you're looking for one, though, my dad uh, lives in um, like Ventnor City, New Jersey, um, near Atlantic City. Yes. The dealership there, yes. whatever it's called, they got. I drove past that the other day. I'll take video of it. I'm yeah. going back there tomorrow. What used to be Kerbeck, which yeah. was the largest Corvette dealer in America, they had. Um, I mean, they recently of... sold to Sioka, and, and they didn't have nearly as many Corvettes as when uh, Kerbeck owned the dealership, but they still had plenty. I mean, they, they had like no cars on there a lot, but a lot of C8 Corvettes. Yeah, they just, yep. yeah. And then the number one, like you said, the Santa Cruz taking yes. eight days to sell right One now. average. All right, now let's look at now, the- Now, yeah. I got to tell you. Go ahead. I saw the truck. Yeah. It, well, and it was cute. I don't know that it's 35 fast. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, yeah. first poll of the night. Yeah. First poll of the night. Let me yeah. create this really quick. Yes. When you buy- a truck. Yeah, is it ever cute? No, no, no. Oh. Comment. Do you want someone <laughs> to call it to cute. call it cute? Well, but it was cute. I am aware of that. Yeah. Yes, no. Only if it's Ray Shops. <laughs> yes. And I'm telling you, it's not thirty-five thousand dollars. It's not thirty-five thousand dollars. It is not. Cute. First poll of the night, we yeah. got that up. Let's look at at the um, at used cars. I think okay. it'd be really fascinating. Let me scroll down here so I don't make everyone seasick. Okay. All right, so we've got the used cars. Let's look first at the average. So used cars are selling a little bit more slowly based yes. on the IC cars data. What they have. Yes, Let's but look. still, it's under thirty-five days. So. Basically, a dealership can be turning their entire inventory in a month. Yeah. Yeah. We've got top 10. Yeah. We've got many Teslas in the top 10. We've got the Tesla Model S selling yes. in 25 days. Yes. The Tesla Model X in 24 days. Yes. Mitsubishi Outlander in no, 24. That, 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 that surprises me. Why does that surprise you? Uh, because it's a Mitsubishi. But look at the price point. Um, yeah. Okay. 
you know, people looking for something that has yeah. the functionality, but but it doesn't have the high price tag. I mean, Mitsubishi's are probably more popular than they ever have been because. Yeah, and, and and here's the the truth of the matter: Mitsubishi doesn't make a bad vehicle. Yeah. I mean, they really don't. Yeah. Um, but they don't have the greatest reputation in this country. No, no, they definitely don't. Volkswagen Golf GTI, 24 wow. days. Wow. The Mitsubishi Eclipse again. Look at the price point. Yeah. I mean, the Eclipse Cross, yeah. One of the things when we reference back on the Black Book data that subcompact, compact cars and subcompact crossovers yes. and things like that are so popular is because the price points are lower. Yes. Well, a brand like Mitsubishi has a lower resale value. So it's going to yeah. be. Honda Insight. 22 days, the Toyota Prius, 22 days, a BMW 4 Series, yes. 22 days, the Highlander Hybrid. Look at the price on a used Highlander wow. Hybrid. Wow, yeah. And then the Tesla Model 3 all the way down there at 17 Teen days. jeez. I mean, so cars are just flying off the lot, whether they are new cars or used cars, they are just I, I I found some of this interesting. Yeah, so let me share the screen again with everyone. So one of the things that I see cars does is they break down by some geographic areas yes. as well. So we have fastest selling new and used cars in August by city. Yes. So Albuquerque, for example, the fastest selling new vehicle is the Nissan Sentra. Do you know why that would be? Would be the Toyota Tundra. Why is that? Um, Albuquerque is not a particularly affluent area. Sure. And a Sentra would be a relatively inexpensive vehicle. So that's why I think... Um, the uh, center does well in in the Albuquerque market. Yeah, makes sense. Now Definitely. Santa Fe is an affluent area, but I don't think Santa Fe made but, but the that, list. But that but that has that has a, a lot smaller population than Albuquerque. Look at the average time to sell in some of the larger metros. Yeah. We've got Austin here, for example, four, four point, point one days. Yeah, unbelievable. We've got Columbus here with the Kia Telluride. Yeah, and this is the new column, new cars right now. Yeah, one point five days. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Are there any others that are in that range? I mean, Miami is at 4.6. Nashville down here yeah, with the Toyota Tacoma. Point, yeah. Orlando with your RAV4s at 3.1. I mean, it's just, it's kind of unbelievable what's yes. happening here. And then back on the used Look car side. Look at that. Side, we go down to the last one. West Palm Beach, Florida, 2.7 days for the Toyota RAV4. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look back up here at some of the used, see if there are any real big outliers there. I mean, 13 and a half days for the Fiat. Over yeah, now, I find, that, I find that particularly funny that, A, anybody in Phoenix would <laughs> buy that car. Uh, that's just me. That's just you. <laughs> yeah. But they must be cheap, which they, is why they're getting purchased. GMC Acadia in the Grand Rapids area. Of yeah. Oh, wow. Here you go. Well, the yeah. Dallas-Fort Worth area. Toyota Prius Prime, 5.7 days on average. Really, really, really yeah. incredible information that we're seeing here.